welcome back to the house station a place for all how to's and DIYs now if you guys remember a few weeks ago I had shown you how to make nail paint jewelry and I had shown this ring how to make this ring you can refresh your memory over here and today using the same technique I am going to show you how to make this crown flower crown you can wear it like this which you can wear like this so I am going to show you how to make this flower crown which is very lovely in my opinion it gives a nice boho feel to your look so if you want to see how to make this then keep on watching I have a flexible wire which is used to make stocking flowers and a brush which is nice and round so I'll take the wire, leave about 1 inch and wrap it around the brush once to create a loop or my first petal. Then I'll place the petal very close to the brush and wrap the remaining wire around the brush again to create my second petal. I'll repeat these steps till I have 5 petals. I'll keep on adjusting the petals to get a flower like shape. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'll take the remaining wire and push it down between the second and the third petal and wrap it with the remaining wire and cut off the excess. So I have made medium, big and small flowers and now it is time to make the petals. I am not going to lie, this is quite time consuming. I will show how to do the biggest flower first because that is the most difficult one. It took me about 7 minutes to do that. The small and the medium ones took about 3 to 4 minutes. So I have a generous amount of nail paint on my brush. The trick here is to place the nail polish on one side and drag it to the other end. This creates a thin film as you can see and that creates the petal. So I'll make all my flowers and I'm using an old 20 rupees nail polish. You don't need Sally Hansen for this. Once all my flowers are done, I'll paint the stems green. So I'll take a newspaper so that I don't ruin my table and then paint the stem. Once that is done, I'll keep my flowers to dry for at least 2 hours. And then I'll take my hairband which has these spikes. So I'll use them as a guideline as to where to start and end my crown. I'll take the biggest flower first, place it on the belt and wrap the stem around the belt to secure it. And in the same manner, I'll start placing all my flowers one by one. So 
so this is my belt once my flowers are on it then i'll take a ribbon and a glue drop and stick the drop on one end of the belt and leave about 30 to 35 centimeters of the ribbon and start wrapping it on the belt The tricky part is to wrap the ribbon in between the flowers but since the flowers are flexible I'll move them so that the wrapping becomes easier. So now that I've almost reached the end, I'll stick another glue drop and finish off the wrapping. Then I'll cut off the excess ribbon and my flower crown is ready. So that was it. I hope you all enjoyed uh, watching the video and uh, according to your liking you can add more or less flowers to it i didn't want too many flowers on my head so this is like okay for me and uh, you can like do there are so many crows right now sitting right out of my window and they're like making the cow cow sound that's too irritating but okay well yeah so you can add more or less flowers to it and you can customize it or personalize it or style it as you want to wear it with whatever you want and however you want and do give this video a thumbs up if you all enjoyed watching it and please do tell me in the comments down below on how you thought this was and please do subscribe to my channel because every week i share some easy and inexpensive how tools and diys i'll see you guys in my next video bye